The Senator from Kentucky. The more things change, the more they seem to stay the same. Republicans won the White House. Republicans control the Senate. Republicans control the House. And what will the first order of business be for the new Republican majority? To pass a budget that never balances. To pass a budget that will add $9.7 trillion of new debt over 10 years. Is that really what we campaigned on? Is that really what the Republican Party represents? Our first order of business will be a budget that never balances. A budget that adds $9.7 trillion to the debt and they tell us, oh, but it's not a budget. If you listen, they will say, no, no, it is a vehicle to repeal Obamacare. And yet I have the title in front of me. It says a concurrent resolution for the budget of 2017. We have special rules when you pass the budget that we may be able to repeal Obamacare, and I'm all for that. But why should we vote on a budget that doesn't represent our conservative view? Why would we vote on a budget that adds $9.7 trillion to the debt? Because we're in a hurry. We can't be bothered. It's just numbers. I was told again and again, swallow it, take it. They're just numbers. Don't worry, it's not really a budget. And yet, the legislation says it is a budget. The numbers say it will add $9.7 trillion of new debt. And so I say if they're only numbers, and if the numbers don't matter what's in the budget, why don't we put numbers in the balance? Why don't we put a vision into the budget that represents what Republicans say they are for? Republicans say they are the conservative party. Are we? When George W. Bush was president for eight years, the national debt went from $5 trillion to $10 trillion. The debt doubled under a Republican president and a partially Republican Congress. And yet the words were, well, he had Democrats to deal with, and if we could ever take all three branches of government, things would be different. The Republicans took over the House in 2010. They still didn't control the Senate, but they said if we only controlled the Senate, we could be the conservative party again. We've had an election. The conservative party, the supposedly su conservative party won. Republicans control the House, the Senate, and the presidency. And the first item of business for the Republicans will be to pass a budget that never balances. A budget that will add $9.7 trillion to the debt over 10 years. This sign could have been put up for Obama's first budget. Every Republican railed and said, $10 trillion. President Obama will add $10 trillion, and he did. President Obama doubled the debt again. It went from five to 10. The national debt went from five trillion to 10 trillion under George W. Bush, and then it doubled again under President Obama. It went from 10 to nearly 20. And what are we looking at here? More debt under a solidly unified Republican Congress and a Republican president. So you might scratch your head and say, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Is it all smoke and mirrors? Is there really a difference?